I'm Sade, I'm Courage, I'm the Diaspora. Black people are strong emotionally, physically, and mentally. I chose the word courage because through all that we've been through as people, we still stand strong, united, and together. I draw my strength and courage from my ancestors and all that they've gone through for me to be here today, and I also draw it for the generations to come. I am strength, I am the diaspora. My entire family comes from Jamaica, and the one thing I learned from my grandmother and my mother is how to be a strong woman. I've watched my mother go through difficult times, and by watching her through it all, in that is a miracle in itself. Uh, I, by watching the power in her, I realized the strength was inside me. Without trying, they taught me as we as black women have an innate strength that we can tap into, one that we're born with, and with that, have the God-given ability to triumph over any and all things. I am one man out of many one people. I am the diaspora. I chose this because out of many one people is Jamaica's national motto, and me being from Jamaica, I identify with that. Jamaica is a small but very diverse country born from Africa. And Africa is a continent with rich diversity culturally, socially, politically, everything. Africa is a motherland and Jamaica is a product of that motherland. I came up with this because um, I was just thinking of my family tree and thinking of what the diaspora means. And if I was supposed to go through back through my ancestry, I basically would say that my history is the diaspora, it, it represents the diaspora and what it is and what it means and the struggles and everything that comes with it. So when coming up with what I would say I would summarize myself with, I could have chosen many of great leaders that I could have, you know, put myself along with that I, I feel like I am and will be in, in the future to represent. But when it came to the diaspora, I felt like history is the most important thing that I would like to capture. I am the diaspora. I chose this sentence because as we move towards the future, I think it's important for us to know where we come from and who we are, and that's our tradition. And we shouldn't be afraid of progress. So I like the meshing of the two. I'm Sankofa, I'm a diaspora. The reason I chose Sankofa is because Sankofa captures the spirit of the diaspora. For me, Sankofa means to go back and retrieve, to go back and retrieve the stories the histories, the pain, the hopes and the dreams of those who came before us. Sankofa means reliving the beautiful times, the sad times, and to reimagine the future for the African continent. Sankofa means seeing yourself through the lenses and the stories of those who came before us. I'm Sankofa, I'm the diaspora, because despite all the adversity that's been thrown along our way, Africans, Africans of the diaspora and those who understand the depth of the diaspora have been able to maintain their dignity. That is why I am Sankofa. I am the diaspora. I am reclaiming identity. I am the diaspora. There's true power in naming oneself. I am Pan-African. I'm Guyanese. I'm African. You don't have to limit yourself and I don't intend to either. I am love. I am the diaspora. I chose love because I believe the diaspora is one big family that is bounded by strong cords of love. Not because we know ourselves, but we share the same struggles, a common perspective. Let love lead. I am the diaspora. I am solidarity. I am the diaspora. The reason I chose this statement is because I believe that within the diaspora, we need to understand um, each other's experiences. We need to understand where we all come from and um, that's what helps us um, ultimately stand together and um, in solidarity with each other. We understand each other's stories, we understand each other's um, struggles, we understand each other's battles, we understand each other's um, successes and achievements. And um, the most important thing in the diaspora is us standing together and um, being supportive to one another. Because if we don't do it, then no one else is going to. I am Pan-African, I am the Diaspora. I chose this statement because I think that the way that I identify not only as a U.S. citizen but my culture and ethnic identity connects um, with the continent. The way that I was raised was that I was to acknowledge the land that I live on and the country that I was raised in, but 
my family and my culture and the country that um, my family comes from is always tethered to my perspective that I have here in the United States. And I would say that a lot, a part of being in the diaspora is understanding that we're all connected and that our political identities, regardless of what continent we live on, are connected as well. The reason why I chose this term is because many people like myself have trouble identifying as black or African American. I prefer to identify as black before, because I feel like it's a more unifying term for the children of the diaspora. Um, many people in Africa um, aren't necessarily black, and um, many Americans, many black Americans in the United States aren't necessarily African, but I feel like um, the term black um, unifies all of us, regardless of where, we're, where we are. I am my grandmother's folk tales told with the voice of wisdom. I am the diaspora. I picked this quote or sentence because when I was younger, my grandmother used to gather us all kids and tell us stories at night. And it was then at the age of five that I learned what community was. It's the same community you can find in Ibarra, Nigeria or Columbia, Maryland. It's a community that you know envelopes you in love and tradition and family because when you're a part of the diaspora, you're part of a family. I am Saronia, I am the diaspora. Saronia is a word that means queen in the Hausa language, which is my first language before English. I chose this term for many reasons. Um, the first is that I believe in the empowerment of the woman, and I believe that Saronia or queen is a term that embodies that. I also believe that although I'm a member of the diaspora, I can still uphold my culture, and the primary way in which I do that is through language. I am Ifose Rumse, I am the diaspora. I am the granddaughter of the late king of Okro. I am the diaspora. I am God's wealth, I am the diaspora. I am the daughter of two hardworking, inspirational Nigerian parents. The reason why I said my name is because it means God's wealth and God's riches, which means that the purpose of my name and of my life in Nigerian culture is that I'm valuable to a lot of people that I encounter. My grandfather is very important because he was the first in our family to bring royalty. And from that, that helped with my parents bringing up values that led them and how they raised me and helped me get to where I am today. I am the life of dance. I am the diaspora. Being born in an African household has been ups and downs, but has been blessings all around. Having the honor of being born an African child with dance by my side has made me see the world much brighter. For others, dance is merely just a part of their life, whereas for me, it is my life. It is where everywhere I go, it is in the banku that I eat, in the kente cloth in which I sleep, and the air that I breathe. I am a Haitian American. I am part of the diaspora. I chose to say this because I felt like it was very important. My parents immigrated from Haiti in search of better opportunities for me and my brother. I am Revolution. I am the diaspora. The reason why I chose this is because I'm not directly connected to the diaspora, but I am connected to these think tanks, these revolutionary think tanks that came out of the diaspora. These figures are such as Malcolm X, Maya Angelou, Martin Luther King, and even other figures such as Rosa Parks. These um, sort of uh, figures and the ideology shape my political and social consciousness, and that's how I'm connected. Um, I chose this because I feel like, you know, all people that I meet from the diaspora, um, whether it's in Latin America, the Caribbean, or even the continent, we all have this certain energy about us. You know, it's in the way that we move in our clothing, it's in our food, in the music that we listen to. Um, and it's so vibrant and it's so easy to hold on to and to love and I don't think that that energy would be the same without the roots that we have to the continent and the different cultures that we have that still all link throughout the diaspora.